Traditionally, the first Grand National Race of the Year is held at Riverside Raceway. The field of 36 racers pulls out with Parnelli Jones dead last due to a penalty. The green flag is out and it's go. David Pearson in car number 17 jumps into the lead. It's Pearson in 17, Dan Gurney in 42, then Allison and Yarborough. Things are really slippery in turn eight. Only four laps and Gurney is into the pits. Pearson would like to extend his lead, but one driver, Parnelli Jones, has come from last place to sixth position. Gurney makes it out after 11 minutes in the pits. Pearson still holds on to first. But Parnelli has moved into second place. Dave Marcus, driving car number 30, puts some flat spots on his tires, but keeps it going. Gurney is trying to erase that long pit stop. At this point, Parnelli is running only 14 seconds behind Pearson. Yarborough in car number 98 is charging after both the number one and two spots. Dave Alonzo in car number 81 cuts a fast 360 degree turn but avoids calamity. Pearson and Parnelli pit at the same time. With them in the pits, Richard Petty takes the lead in car number 43. and Parnelli leave the pits in the same order they came in. <laughs> Elmo Langley blows an engine and slides sideways. Allison in car number 22 and Sam Posey in six take a bumpy road off the course. Really no shortcut. Petty takes advantage of the yellow to pit. Garbro now has the lead in 98, and A.J. Foyt has moved into second. As Petty comes out of the pits, he is behind the new leader, A.J. Foyt. But Foyt's lead is short-lived, for he has to make a pit stop. Anyone might win the fall staff points in this race, With Boyd in the pits, Roger McCluskey in number one has the front spot. Boyd pulls out of the pits, ready to battle for the lead. Sam Posey too fast into turn six and hits the wall. McCluskey has to pit. And Dave Alonzo races around in circles in turn nine. Bobby Allison in 22 makes the pit stop. Parnelli in car number 21 now has the lead and has moved from 36th to first place. A spinning car in the S's brings out the yellow again. Parnelli Jones still hangs on to the lead. Superstar Richard Petty gets out of shape in turn six and caresses the outside wall. He is not hurt. McCluskey and Foyt make their way through turn six. Alonzo stars again. This time he clears the hay bales with ease in turn number eight. A.J. Foyt has the lead in the final laps. He takes the white flag and the next time around the checkers. He wins all the Falstaff points for the Riverside 500 and accepts the trophy from Miss Falstaff. <laughs>